Both men should have no problem. They don't with that first stone, Kaz. That's 220 pounds. Onto the second stone, 245. Travis Ortmar already on to stone number three, 265 pounds. He is flying through the rack. And he's handling that weight with ease, Todd. This is it, the final stone for Travis Ortmar. This is 400 pounds, and he's done it. Solid move with 400 pounds. Magnus is fighting. He's also got it. Magnus Samuelson, a real champion, also completes the entire rack. What a showing by Five both men. for Magnus Samuelson and Travis Ortmeier. Travis Ortmeier is your current leader. Five stones in an impressive time of 21.18 seconds. And Magnus, despite one stumble at the end, puts up a great time, 28.17 seconds. Todd, it definitely wasn't a perfect run by any means, but Travis Ortmeier is just too fast and too explosive. I'm sure the other finalists will be taking note of that. Well, Ortmeier's already into the final, so it's all about the battle between Dave Oslin and Jimmy Marku. With a point and a half lead, Oslin is in if he beats Marku or finishes no more than one place behind him. Believe it or not, Dave Oslin and Jimmy Marku were in nearly the same position last year when they reached the Atlas Stones. However, it was Oslin who trailed by half a point going in. So the American just needed to beat Marku head to head, and he delivered. So here we go again. Dave Oslin is attempting to make his third final in four appearances. Jimmy Marku is trying to make the final America, for his first time. Dave you gotta feel bad for Jimmy. Dave is one of the best in the world at this event. Strongman can be very unpredictable. But if it's a fight between a big guy and a little guy in the Atlas Stones, you've gotta go with a size advantage every time. Here's the scenario. Dave Oslin beats Jimmy Marku. He is in. Ready? One swift move for Dave. Jimmy takes it in two parts. And there you see the advantage Dave Austin has. The height is just not a problem for him. Dave's practiced these stones so many times. I think he could do them in his sleep. This is it, the fifth and final stone, and big Dave Austin has done it. The American has done it in an impressive time, and Jimmy Marku, once again, the stones are his undoing, but he does place all five stones. What a way to end it. Dave what a Austin performance by Marcoux both men, but Dave Oslin's able to outdo and Jimmy Marku, Britain's strongest man. Five stones in a time of 30.43 seconds. Dave Oslin, five stones, 21.10 seconds. He is the winner of the Atlas Stones, but more importantly, moving on to the final. Todd, Jimmy was right there, but the third stone, the 265 pounder, just about sealed his fate. Dave Oslin just rampaged his way through the five stones. So Austin is victorious in the Atlas Stones with a time of 21.10 seconds. So it's Fister on the left, Austin on the right. Both men, as you said, Kaz, very proficient at the Atlas Stones. Built perfectly for the Stones, Todd. 6'6 six, six and 6'7, six, long arms. See how they're moving a little cautious. We have had some rain out there, so they're making sure they plant their feet well. And this is the last stone for both men, 400 pounds. Austin gets it. Dave Austin will claim third place. Phil Fister will have to settle for fourth in a tremendous performance by the two Americans. Dave Austin, five stones in 22.70 seconds. That puts him currently in second place, but more importantly, it puts him on the podium. Well, Phil Fister's slight bobble on the fourth stone gave Dave Austin a window of opportunity, and he took it. Both men are standing by with Bill Kazmaier. Phil, you said this is going to be your last competition. Give us your thoughts. I think it stinks, Kaz. Oslin should have never beat me, Kaz. No, you know what? In all seriousness, all these American guys coming up are so awesome. I'm getting to be an old man, and there's so many hungry, strong, young guys. You know, what can you say? What can you do? I had my day on top once. I'm a happy guy. I'm ready to pass the torch. You're a great champion, Phil. Thanks, Kaz. Dave, finished in third place, a changing of the guards. Yeah, I'm unbelievably happy right now. You know, I've, it's my fourth time here, uh, first time on the podium. I've tried to get a little better each year, and my family's been behind me all the way, so this is as much for them as it is for me. Tremendous job. We'll see you next year. Thank you very much, bro. So now it's time to decide the champion for 2008. Derek Poundstone and Marius Pujanowski each know if they win this one-on-one -on -one confrontation, they will win the title. Poundstone, the rookie from Connecticut, comes into the final event as the overall leader, but he'll need to stare down that man 
who many Marius consider the best strongman of all time, Marius Pujanowski of Poland. Let's flash back to 2006, the last time Marius was in a similar situation. It didn't go so well. The Polish champion led to the fifth and final stone, but was helpless when Phil Pfister made a remarkable charge to steal the title. That's got to be something on his mind here. Todd, I don't think there's ever been a moment in World's Strongest Man history more dramatic than this. So it comes down to the final pairing in the final event. Marius Pujanowski on the left. Derek Poundstone on the right. The rain has begun to fall once again, Kaz, but they are not letting that stop them. Their focus is only on the stones. Dead even at four stones at 350 pounds. Now to the fifth and final stone. Who will it be? Poundstone has it and he drops it. It's Pujanowski winning the title yet again. champion for five times we have said it we'll say it again 